Matt, as performances go to get you over the line, the supporters deserve you know a lot of credit today in that three-one win. Yeah, I sure do. Um, I thought the the only time in the game that um, there was a slight little bit of a maybe a decision that wasn't quite the right decision. The only time um, they punished it, and then the supporters were right behind us from there. Uh, and I, I keep saying it, and I, I know you know I keep saying it. That is so important to this, to the group, to the football club, um, to to the energy that it then creates. Um, I don't know many football teams and money football clubs that will have a response like that uh, to conceding a goal. Uh, and we're going to need them. I, I'll say it over and over again. We're going to need us all to be together because there will be points at home, especially. Um, where we're going to need every last little bit of that. And so I have 7,000 supporters here. How many from Doncaster? Uh, 406. So 6,500 Warsaw supporters in the stadium, all cheering on. Um, I think there's just more than that, wasn't there? So 7,200. So all cheering on, all positive, all right behind the lads. And we see then the, the reaction to that and the response to that. We go and score another two goals off the back of it. So again, said it on Tuesday night, today had to be a little bit different. There were some tired legs out there. The pitch was really heavy, but I have to really make a uh, a big shout out to the, the ground staff who got the game on today. You know, you've seen many games off in the country um, today in our league and, and whatever, and um, the work that they put in to get the game on. Like, uh, we were the first to say, um, you know, what's going on? Has the game been called off when the games have been called off? The work that the ground staff put in today to get the game on, got the game on, and were part of the um, part of us getting the three points is down to them. So, big big thank you to Paul and the team there. Um, they've done so well for us. So proper collective, together team effort from everyone at the football club today. Even you, Tom, you had a part to play. Um, not you, Paul. You didn't. Um, that everyone at the football club had a huge part to play today, and um, I'm so proud of everyone pulling together. We talk about moments in games and there is that point where you know we concede the equaliser but like you've said instantly similar sort of reaction to what it was on Tuesday our supporters are, are up to it and then I think it's just five minutes later we go and get you know the second goal that gets us back ahead and then at the 77 minutes applause for Chris Nickel three minutes later Mo pops up with a goal which will mean an awful lot to him mm-hmm. you know it was a real good um, reaction to, to the equaliser, wasn't it? I'm probably missing out Liam's reaction there because I think he went on a bit of a marauding run to then cross to the back post where uh, Tom Neely gets in. And um, my memory might be wrong, but I think that led to a spell of, a, of, of um, pressure in their half, in their box at that point. So credit to the reaction that, that everybody gave in that moment. Um, incredible reaction. Uh, the, the Chris Nickel at 77 minutes was um, another show. Uh, and it's only right. I'm delighted that we did it for another, uh, another. Obviously, we did the silence on Tuesday and the applause then, and then we've given him another send off at the 75th minute today, uh, and again to the families of Chris and and everybody connected to the football club, who knows Chris, who knew of Chris, who was touched by Chris. Um, hopefully, we did him proud today, um, and that was a big moment for that. Um, I thought, in terms of the actual context of the game. I felt very, very comfortable within our shape, um, very comfortable. Um, I think the stats might show, of course, that they had a bit more possession. I felt very comfortable within that. The only thing um, I think missing in the end was uh, when we did transition and did win it back, which came with more regularity as the game went on. Um, we didn't punish that with a, another one. I think we had a good few chances to do that um, and to maybe get the second before they then got their goal. So. Um, but that's probably the only blot on the day. Of I thought we were fantastic from start to finish. Josh Gordon getting you know a goal which has been coming for him almost. You know he's not necessarily had those clear chances as of yet. But great work from Liam Gordon to win the ball back high up the pitch. Fantastic cross. Josh getting on the score sheet. I think that's 21 different goal scorers in all competitions across the season so far. How pleased first of all to see him get on the score sheet, but to see goals coming from everywhere in this group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose the only thing disappointing on the day that Manny didn't score. Uh, it's probably the only disappointment. But yeah, um, Josh has been he's he's been itching to get that first goal back since since he's come back. Uh, I had a conversation with him on Thursday. I had another one on Friday with him where like what he's doing for the team is unbelievable. The work rate that he's putting in. I see my strikers careering into their own half to try and block. Um, 
potential attacks. I see Jamil sprinting to the halfway line to top, stop a counter attack. Uh, I see Mo and Douglas when they come on, just giving everything they can to lead from the front, um, and it means such a such a uh, makes such a difference to this team uh, and what's behind it from there. So uh, I thought those four in particular were top top draw and. I said afterwards to the group, I thought Brandon was was immense today in that role. Um, broke so much up and he was probably operating in the worst part of the pitch, right in the, the thick of it there. And um, the energy and the athleticism that he's displaying um, was incredible. So uh, go through them all. I thought they were all tremendous. They all played their part. Everyone did. Um, we mentioned supporters, mentioned the ground staff. Um, uh, it was a really good day for the football club. So yeah, on the back of what's been a really tiring week for everybody, we get now the opportunity for a free week. Um, there'll certainly be some resting up, um, recovering, and looking forward to going again. I was going to say on a final note, how important is it now to have this week? You know, going into Forest Green, how important is it to rest, recover, you know, get, you know, just that relaxed period into this group to sort of revitalise them again. Well, there'll certainly be no relax. That's for certain. Uh, we won't be doing that. But we'll we'll recover, uh, and they'll need to recover. They'll certainly um, they'll get their time to do that because they need it. It's been relentless. It's been intense, and then it goes into another Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday after it. So we have to um, get them away for the training ground for a couple of days. They've deserved that. They've earned that, um, and then they look to come in fresh again when we get in uh, when we get back into the building. But um, I'm delighted with the efforts of absolutely everyone uh, this this last two three weeks. Um, uh, and we, we move forward again and we look forward to the weekend's game.